Hey everybody, today is a new day and together with Xiao Xiao and me, Kha Kha, we're going to be visiting a Nanshan Gourmet Service Center and see what's ready for us. Hi, so uh, we are here at Nanshan Gourmet Service Center and it is to help uh, entrepreneurs to start up a business within two hours. And uh, you can receive such a box with all necessary information within hours. It's incredible. Uh, are you ready to experience the service? Always ready. Okay, so uh, let's see what we are doing here right now. So, Haha, do you have any idea about what does garment to business mean? Yeah, we are just told that this floor is specifically uh, designed for helping companies that are already registered uh -huh. and uh, companies can come here and talk with government face to face. Shenzhen is developing really fast and it has uh, stepped up to attract more enterprises and each year or each month there might be some new policies and so here we have a rule there will be some government officials attract introducing new, new policies and maybe we can step Hi, so uh, we are here in front of this miracle wall. We have Dajiang DJI, we have uh, Sense Time, Shanghai, and also Huawei. Have you ever heard of any of these companies? Of course, this is all, all what you hear about when you're living in a, in a world of tech. And it's, it's great to be here in a place with such, such a concentrated uh, amount of great companies. Right now we are riding along the Shenzhen Talent Park. So how did you feel about the center? There are many interesting projects there. Projects built with VR, with the hardware. It's really nice to see how many international talents are actually based here in Shenzhen. I saw you experience the uh, 5G VR technology. Maybe if they have more time, we can come back later and enjoy like the more of the technology. For sure. Then you should also play the VR together with me. Yeah. We can fight. Sure. Yeah. Would you like to consider moving to Shenzhen? If it's not so hot every day, <laughs> I totally consider. <laughs> Still here at Shenzhen Talent Park. We just had a session about uh, talent policies here implemented in Shenzhen. It was actually super interesting to hear Dr. Zhang's sharing, yeah. and uh, we heard about a lot of things that Shenzhen provides to uh, not to international but all kind of entrepreneurs who want to start launch their business mm -hmm. uh, that they can have uh, uh, funding support, support with living, support with all the kind of things so it's a really awesome place to be. I can feel the sense of openness here. Yeah exactly. It, it's like a miracle. Uh, have you ever heard of the story about China's opening up? Yeah it's a pretty famous story but I've never seen actually how it was developing an example of, of the particular city because Shenzhen has a very interesting story connected to this reform of opening and while being in this museum we actually saw how Shenzhen was developing from a little village of a couple of thousand people into a, one of the major metropolitan areas of the world. And in the future we could attract not only more uh, capital into China, but also more international talents like you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's going to be more and more attractive for people because people are attracted by dy dynamism, by fast development, and this region is exactly about that. Right, right. Yeah. As, as the people grow up in the north, I mm. think uh, I'm very interested in t like diving into the story of Shenzhen of the Greater Bay Area and see what happens in the mm. next 40 years. I'll be curious. So we're going to be here in in uh, 2058. Uh, uh, 58, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. it'll be interesting. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> we can do another vlog. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next episode in 40 years. Okay, yeah. see you. See ya, bye.